No one turn up and it's very, very drastic. And me I tell us I have to stand up for my father. This, as his father, the breadwinner of the family, lays on a hospital bed in excruciating pain. The man, a popular barber, lost a hand and a foot, his livelihood now in jeopardy as he may not be able to cut hair again. In kidney, two kidneys shut off funny right now, so in a very critical condition. His younger children, who are preparing for back to school, now in limbo, the possibility of them being ready for September fading day by day. According to reports, utility poles belonging to the Jamaica Public Service JPS fell on him while he was traveling by a motorcycle along the main road in Racecourse Clarendon on August 3rd. The man was electrocuted and sustained severe burns to his arms. His son says the family has been in a state of distress ever since. I just we are alone. I got through it. Just we are alone. We are got through a hard time, we are got through a rough time, and there's no one. No council, no NP, no nobody. Residents told the TVJ News that the man was not able to react after the incident. Now as the son hopes his father makes a speedy recovery, he cannot help but focus on what he described as a lack of remorse from the JPS. I mean, need JPS to come forth and stop me uh, and stop me as if like say yo, nothing, nothing wrong. You understand? Like, like it's nothing wrong. Nothing for no one. Need to come forth and make a com uh, and combine and do things the right way. The emotionally wounded son says the situation is made much worse as there has been no communication whatsoever from political representatives. And him did a fighting for in life. You understand? And nobody then you understand the councillor do need to stand up for your resident them. You understand? The MP if you stand up for your resident then. If it if it if it was a if if, if it was a shooting incident, you would have find out say they would, have, they would have moved to it drastic already. You understand? Probably crucial thing would have come out of this situation already if it was a shooting incident. So then if you stand up for your resident more because right now my father in there and then nobody no come find out our situation be like we have no NP. When contacted, JPS described the incident as most unfortunate. It said the polls came down during adverse weather conditions on August 2nd. The JPS said the primary concern is the well-being of those affected and warned the public to exercise extreme caution when approaching downed power lines and poles. Ramada Lyons, TVJ News. Me love Jamaica, me sell out. Them dry clip we wing, summer we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica, roast bread, fruit, and banana. Hey, you see them people, yeah? You see them people, yeah? Them have attacks, they don't know who for frighten. Trust me, me, I tell you. All right, the light post, you know, in the community. All right, natural disaster. Okay, so. JPS, so because a natural disaster, you no can turn the black around on the eye and look for the people them. Eh? You no can look for the people them, JPS. MP, you no can come to the people them rescue. Daryl Vaz, you no can give the people them a listen years and vouch for them. We not say you no feel the ground go down with the peel out money and thing, but Stand up beside them, make them know, say, look here. We there, we are support, you know. Foolishness go on. The father and the breadwinner. Judge your God, me tell you, say, yo, when people are say, money are the root of all evil. Give me all the money and you take the evil, yeah? Yeah, man, it's okay. Give me the money, since money are the root of all evil, and take, take the, the, the evil. Yeah, man. Poor, poor. Them hmm. wouldn't do that to some uptown people. Them wouldn't neglect. This is a situation, yeah. Trust me. JY family, me I beg you to share the video for me, please. Share it, man. Them say sharing is caring. Today for me, tomorrow for you. You don't know what tomorrow may bring. You don't know what tomorrow will. You might see this answer, this come to you. You'll be surprised. Trust me.
And I know so when you come to politics, because I you know, call Daryl Vaz and I call an MP name. Okay. Jay, why you chat too much? But anyway, let us move on. I hope someone like I can take up the case of a free. And then after everything, he can get paid. Anyway, JY family, if this is your first time to the channel, please may I ask you know, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to be notified and watch the ads. Don't skip the ads. Yeah man, we have a whole heap of things we are going to cover in this video. So, let us dive straight into it. Now, this rider that is on the screen, this biker, me get to understand say he's out. Wicked stunt man. When Jamaican say, yo, the boy they bad, the boy they wicked, the man they bad, you don't know what they mean. The man him bad for the bike, JY family. He's a wicked stunt man, but right now, him lost him life. You get to understand, say, he is skunk from Upper Geisel. You get to understand, say, he must send the bike down a Ochi. Your man and him crash and dead. Your man, me tell us, a JY family. He mash up. When we say mash up, me I tell you, say trust me. I left ten doctor over him, he couldn't make it. Me have the video and me I go send it in my WhatsApp group 775-378-1640. And just make sure don't call. Don't call. Please just send me a text. Alright? Shoot me a text. And don't shoot me a regular text. Shoot me a WhatsApp text. Because sometimes when a text regular, I me can't reply to one. Because we don't have local minutes, alright? So, text me in WhatsApp. So, yeah man, skunk, last him life. Out down at Ochi. Yeah man, it's a serious accident. No, you know, stop this up. This gentleman that is on your screen, I get to understand that he is no longer with us. Because him crash off a bike down a St. Thomas. Yeah, man, I have the video in my, in my phone. I go send it to my group. See him where. Yeah, man, I tell you, say, mash up JY family. Jano, I don't know his name, only in picture me get so far. So, I just want the man. Boy, you know, I say, I not even say nothing. I not even say nothing because I come like me, I waste my time, yeah, man. Trust me, me not even say, boy, I take time on the road. I'm being repetitive right now. I'm tired of it. I can't reiterate how much time if you tell the man the same thing. So, JY family, I'm going to just pick up the video in the WhatsApp, all right? Yeah, now we, we are going to move on. We Dive gonna... straight into this story where a farmer slap up a woman all over her body with my shit. From another day, we see the farmer them name a call up in a all different type of things. Farmer them name a call up in a murder, shooting, all different type of things, JY family. Sometimes I wonder if them just uh, use the farming to cover them, them dirty heart. Yeah. Because remember, say clean clothes can't cover dirty heart, you know. Yeah, man. Farmer named Bujo allegedly slapped woman all over her body with machete. Malicious destruction of property and unlawful wounding charge have been laid against 33 year old Christopher Barnes, otherwise called Bojo, a farmer of Morningside District Junction, St. Elizabeth, following an incident in Burn Savannah in the parish on Thursday, August 8th. Reports are that about 2.30 p.m., Barnes and a woman were having a dispute in a bar when Barnes allegedly damaged a flat screen smart television and a quantity of assorted liquor valued at 85000 So, Bujo and the woman catch up in the bar. Bujo allegedly mash up the TV and smart TV. Mash up $85,000 worth of liquor. No man. A bujo woman this. He then reportedly used a machete to slap the woman all over her body. Causing wounds to her upper back, arms and leg. Which bled. 
Cha cha God. A report was made to the police and Barnes was later arrested and charged. Preparation are underway for his court date. Me want the backstory with this in a, in a, with this year. Me want the words and the streets to worry. Me no want to read the official report with the one I swear. Anybody from the Saint Elizabeth Burn Savannah area seven seven five three seven eight sixteen forty. You no call me and tell me how the story I go because I can't so. I can't so. Would you did under the influence? One of the things that Buju and the woman are something and Buju not like what go on a bar. Remember, say, we all know what go on a bar more while you now, especially if a woman sexy, you know. When you talk to me down in the comment section and anybody can reach out to me and tell me what go on. Remember, say, we have the voice changer, you know. We can distort your voice. So don't worry yourself. But when I take the official report, there is more to it than this. All right? Yeah man, we wanna say JY family. You know I hear the story, you know I hear what happened behind this and not you. Talk to me. Tell me if I'm here alone what I hear. JY family, we have some more news to go on about as usual. I don't want to out the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Me soon come back. Hit the post notification bell. JY family, come on man, come on. You can't read so far and don't press the like button. Hit the bell icon to be notified. And this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to. Do the right thing, man. Me love Jamaica, me now sell out. Them try clip we wings, somehow we can't fly out. But when we there, yard, nothing nice like Jamaica. Roast bread, fruit, and banana. Under the tree with a glass of